Hello, I'm Jason. I am a violinist. Uh, I will be going over dynamics for y'all. So, first of all, we're going to start at the softest dynamic volume, which is pianissimo. We're going to go up in half steps. So, we have pianissimo, which has two Ps. And then we have piano, which is one P. Uh, that piano means soft. So, if you want to play soft, you want to make sure you all always have full contact on your string if you're when you're when doing dynamics so so you want you notice my bow is away from my bridge and i have a slow speed and a little not too much pressure but just just enough to make us make a sound next we have mezzo piano and mezzo forte these two are the middle, are the middle part of the dynamic, the the basic of the basis of dynamics. So mezzo piano means about middle between soft and a little mitch, but bring it out more. Mezzo forte, bring it out more, but also keep it a little soft. So met, so you can think of the M in mezzo forte and mezzo piano as medium or middle. Uh. That next we have forte and fortissimo. So forte on its own means loud, and fortissimo it means even louder. So when we, so with fortissimo, you it you'll have two f's, and then forte you'll have one f. And to do so to be loud, a lot of my uh, uh, classmates say I'm loud and yes I, I am pretty loud so being a uh, forte you with the use of your bow you have to have a pretty good speed of your bow along with pressure and you have to all just like before good good contact so so As you noticed, I am playing closer to my bridge, meaning I'm bringing um the sound is resonating more more fluently and loudly. Obviously, if you if you're just playing a mezzo forte or forte, you obviously want to be in between your the end of your fingerboard right here and your bridge. So. Fortissimo. See, see, I'm increasing the speed of my bow, and then pianissimo. So, as you noticed, between fortissimo and pianissimo, the, my bow is moving a lot more slower. Uh, that's not gonna always be the case, but. Uh, when, if you're just trying to get a soft sound out, then usually the speed of the bow is a big factor. Uh, next, uh, we have crescendo and decrescendos. So, your, if your teacher has ever told you about alligator mouths, that's what I'm talking about. So, in a piece, you'll, there's these little, there's these angles or alligator mouths. And depending on what direction it it's opened it opened up or it's or if it's inclining, uh, depends will determine whether it's a decrescendo or crescendo. So a decrescendo is gonna look more is gonna look more like this. So the t tips of my finger and my thumb are the opening, and then where it goes into my palm, that's where the angle is closed meaning you're getting softer. So to demonstrate a decrescendo. I'm gonna do it one more time. And then now we, I'm gonna talk about crescendos, which is 
you could have guessed it, it's the opposite of a date crescendo. So a crescendo is going to be the same alligator mouth, and then it's opening up instead of closing. So to demonstrate a crescendo, so see I'm playing a normal volume, now we're going to crescendo. I'm going to do both, a crescendo and a day crescendo. You noticed I crescendoed and then I, I got louder and then I got softer. So those are the basic uh, dynamics uh, that you need to know. You need to, uh, you need to go make sure you have that in your head because it's going to be all over music that you play. So yeah, I'm, I'm Jason and bye.